Yeah, I'm just trying to basically hold the angle a lot more. Just try not let it go um, before I hit the ball. Obviously, ball first, then ground. And uh, just I used to swing up a little bit on the on the way through. I'm trying to come more towards the body and swing more like that. Probably not the best to ask about the swing things. <laughs> but yeah, a few things I'm trying to work on. So um, you've used the same shaft for a few years now, the, the, the KBS Tour 90. So it's a, um, it's a fairly lightweight steel. Um, when we're looking at weight of, of iron shafts, we've kind of got all options covered from uh, 90 gram all up to 130 gram. So the, the Tour 90 is sitting there at a fairly lightweight steel, um, but still have the flex. So when you're, when you're looking at iron flex and when you're looking at iron shafts, the kind of the technology, the modern technology has, um, has, has gone to a point now where you don't need weight to have flex. So they are quite lightweight, but they're still nice and firm. So um, that's kind of a key. You used to have to have weight and flex go hand in hand. So you used to have something that's very heavy and very stiff. Um, but now you've got the option of going lighter, but also maintaining the, the, the flex. So the Tour 90 has been good. They've been, yeah. they've been, uh, they've been in the, well, this is the third set of irons now with, with the Tour 90. So you've always had the same kind of um, move from the top, haven't you? You know, that's, that's uh, when you're looking at DNA, when, really when you're looking at shafts as a starting point, you are looking at, uh, not extremes, that's the wrong word, but tendencies that show up visually. You know, when you, whether you be, early release or whether it be a really aggressive change direction that we can all see as a visual. All this is doing then is picking up on that and then giving us a kind of a factual um, background as to why what, we've, what we're going to try works. So the fact that you do kind of have that, that um, it's not really early release, but you do kind of cast that, you know, you're not really holding that angle for a long time. So that there is kind of an immediately um, a sign as to what we're going to need. So when you've got something that's very heavy and you've got some tendencies, it can hinder because you know, you're, not, you're not getting um, the correct muscles, if you like, taking over. When you've got something that's very heavy and you can't quite manage with it, you then kind of, gravity takes over a bit too much. You can kind of get a little bit lost on the, on the way down and try and, uh, you then try and make corrections for something you don't need to make corrections for. So weight is a key one, really, when you're looking at a light versus heavy, and that's where we are with yours at a quite light weight is it just gives you the opportunity to um, be in charge of the shaft on the way down as opposed to it being in charge of you. We did use this, didn't we, back in January, well, February when we were back in. So um, this little rasper here is going to basically tell us what's going on through the move. So it, it's not interested about strike. It doesn't worry about uh, where the ball's going. But all this is going to take into consideration is uh, your change direction from the top, how fast your move is, basically how much you stress the shaft, um, in order to then give us a look at shaft weight and shaft flex. It's much like your golf, very, very consistent. You know, you've had you've you've you've, um, you've had three swings there. Head speed, tempo, toe down, kick angle, and release haven't haven't move once you know so really when we're when we're looking at that you always see one maybe that changes from a three to a two or a three to a four they they kind of vary slightly but they are they are totally uniform so that is a, a very consistent uh three swings there so just go through to the shafts it's, it's basically just kicking out the same shaft but just down effects yeah. so um when you're looking at shafts and when you're looking at the differences we have here we have so many different options but when you have the same shaft, so the KBS Tour 90 is coming up there in the top three recommendations. So that there says enough that the, the bend profile and the shaft itself suits the move. It's then really a combination of if we hit some more balls, you know, we're cold, haven't hit too many shots. I think there is some, some scope there to um, get a little bit quicker, which is probably more uh, where you're at. So I think that's, we'll take that with a, a slight pinch of salt because it's cold and we've just hit a few shots. But... More importantly, the bend profile and the weight. That's the two things that come up when you're looking at this is, um, is how that particular shaft works at the Libya's move. So if you just go back to the um, optimizer there, you know, we were just talking about a minute ago where you had that kind of, not early release, but that one there. So when, you, when you're looking at those numbers there, 78, which is your head speed, 3348. So these are, these are ranked one to nine. So 
you know, we were talking about your, I don't like the word extreme, I can't think of a better word to oh, use, but when you're, it. yeah, when you're looking at, at, at one that is uh, an extreme side of the scale, whether it be one or whether it be nine, two or eight, those kind of ones that are, uh, well outside the norms. Yeah, so if we just had straight fours and fives, then there is really isn't a spike and it's a very smooth, it's a very classic swing. Whereas the, the one there, the release factor that's coming out at eight, you can visually see that. And it's quite, it's quite a, uh, it's a, a nod to your goal swing because your goal swing is super tight. You've just got one thing that just kind of stands out, which it's not positive or negative. It's not, it's not gonna help or hinder your move, but it just picks out things that, that occur that we can kind of try and fix with the correct weight and the correct flex in the shaft. You know, if we went if we went heavier in the shafts there, and you have that tendency, all that's going to do then is you 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 overpower the shaft. You know, you, or the shaft overpowers you. Sorry. So you know, you're trying to get to where you are, and your tendency is to do this. If all of a sudden you've got a lot of weight, it really throws your move on the way down, and you've got oh, you know, it's trying to do something that you don't want it to do, and you're not in control of the shaft. So that's where the lighter weight allows Libby to kind of get it where she wants it. Golf is, you, as much as you change your swing and you change your move, ultimately your, 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 your DNA, if you like, does stay very, very similar. What you're in at the moment has longevity. You know, you're not all of a sudden going, oh, I hate these, these, these don't feel right. You know, the more you ingrain your move and the better you get with what you're working on, then, then that, that's the time then to come back and say, well, I've been working on this and I feel like these perhaps are a bit too light. I could feel like I could use some more weight or, I need something that's a little bit firmer down the tip side. And that's where, you know, the constant communication is, is needed at that time, especially when you're working on your golf, because um, you can't do one without the other. You know, Olivia's putting the work in trying to do that side of it, but if the clubs don't match, then all of a sudden, you know, you've got a, you've got a problem. So you need to keep your eye on both. I just saw what I'm working on, basically, what I need to work on. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna be a quick fix, I know that. Um, so yeah, I just need to keep on working on that. And then, um, I mean, the clubs, are great right now as well. They can only get better when yeah. I get better, so.